Hello, welcome to another ramble. Today I'm going to talk about INFJs and their quest for self-improvement. Um, if you're anything like, I, I don't know, I think it's an INFJ, INFJ thing, you're, you're perfectionist to a degree. I kind of laid off on the laid off of that personally um, because honestly no one's perfect everyone's just trying their best right every day even if your best is laying in bed all day you know sometimes that's that's what that's where you're at and that's what you have to do um, <clears throat> I guess the point of this video is going to touch on self-improvement um, self-correction, always striving to better yourself. I've been thinking on these things and honestly, I don't, I've adjusted my whole perspective on it. I don't even think I'm trying to better myself. I'm trying to return to myself, like return to myself, to reconnect with myself, to reconnect and align myself with who I really am. You know, it's not about becoming better. It's not about striving towards a state that is perfect. It's about returning to yourself. Yeah, it's not even about becoming a better version of yourself. It's like return to yourself. What does that mean? Again, reconnecting with who you are, you know, aligning with who you are and becoming that. Becoming intimate with yourself. Creating a relationship with yourself that is loving and kind and full of grace. You know, I think we've spent most of our time externalizing this, like trying to extend it to others, you know, in hopes of being accepted, in hopes of, um, union of some sort, you know, but I made videos on this. The most important person that you need to create union with, the most important person that you need to um, repair your relationship with is you, you know? And I think once you realize that, that's when everything else will shift. 